We are back on Inside Politics. Our guest today is Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally. Uh, Speaker McNally, um, mm -hmm. for the bad weather hit, the legislature had a cloud placed over it with uh, raids by the FBI on several House members' offices and their homes, apparently a part of some kind of campaign finance investigation. Uh, this strikes home, close, home, close to home to you because back several years ago, you were involved in actually stopping some campaign uh, malfeasance going on up at the, up at the Hill uh, as a part of wearing a wire for the FBI investigation. Uh, does it sort of hurt your heart when you see this happen again up on the Hill now? It does. And, uh, um, uh, you know, if there were uh, wrongdoings. I'm I'm certainly glad the FBI and T and or TBI are investigating it. Uh, I think it's it is it is needed if if things like that happen. Uh, and I, you know, I, I the FBI doesn't uh, do things lightly, and they are very. Uh, sure of the actions that they take and and they they realize that by serving warrants on on a legislator it could you know affect his career as far as elections so they don't do things lightly and and uh i'm sure that they had adequate reasons to do what they did do you think there's a need to make further changes in the state's the campaign finance laws or the way they're regulated or overseen? Uh, this is not the first time this has happened, and it happens with some re regular occurrence. And this was sort sort of a, a new twist, I think. It, it was actually, uh, I believe it involved money laundering, where, where money was paid to... Uh, actually a legislator because the legislator had a uh, that's something that i know speaker sexton's interested in looking at and certainly i'm interested in looking at uh, we had quite a uh, election that went on in 2000 for president uh, it's now been decided joe biden has become the next president there's been some concern about that among republicans is joe biden your president as far as you're concerned he is and uh, think that if he, you know, I'll try to help him be, be a successful president to the extent that I can. Uh, Are you but, worried the Republican Party is going to be a little bit uh, torn up about this? I mean, you've got Donald Trump, you've got Mitch McConnell, they're kind of at, each, at odds with each other right now. So what happens at this point? Uh, talk about voting changes in Tennessee, maybe getting rid of early voting completely in the state. Also looking at um, maybe fingerprinting all voters. We really need to make those kind of changes in Tennessee about our voting. Nobody complained about the vote here. Yeah, I think the I think Secretary Hargett and his staff are in a great election, and the election commissioners throughout the ninety five counties did a did a fabulous job given the pandemic. I think with the voter ID, I think that's really adequate. Uh, I don't think we need to think print voters, uh, and I, I don't think we need to get rid of early voting. Uh, getting back to the, the weather, we have terrible situations going on down in Texas with both their water and electricity being out. Um, Tennessee is, certainly has a close relationship with Texas because of all the people that went there to help found that state back in the 1800s. Are you concerned we need to look at our situation here in terms of our power grid and work with TVA and others to make sure we're, we won't have that same kind of problem happen here if we have very unusual weather? I think that's that's a, that's a certainly a good thing to talk to TVA about. I haven't found them to be very responsive uh, to the legislature. Certainly they... I would think they were more responsive to our congressional delegation, uh, but I think probably the 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 way to go would be to urge our congressional delegation to mm -hmm. make that request, and I'll be glad to do that. Tennessee Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally is our guest on Inside Politics. Our conversation continues on the other side of these messages. Stay with us. <laughs> 